During the Memorial Day weekend, the streets of Washington, D.C., filled with bikers and veterans, all gathered for the annual Rolling Thunder Ride for Freedom event. The sound of roaring engines echoed through the city, an audible tribute to prisoners of war and those missing in action from all wars. Among the participants, Sergeant Tim Chambers, a U.S. Marine Corps veteran, stood out. Tim was known to many as the saluting Marine for his impressive act of standing at attention for hours, honoring fallen comrades. Tim, in his immaculate uniform, decorated with medals that told stories of bravery and sacrifice, positioned himself in the middle of the street. His gaze was steady, reflecting his determination to honor those who could not return home. Around him, bikers from all parts of the country gathered, creating a scene of respect and reverence. The Rolling Thunder event was not just a display of the bikers' strength and unity, but also a moment of reflection on the sacrifices made by so many men and women in military service. For Tim, each Memorial Day was an opportunity to remember his comrades and renew the promise to never forget them. The crowd, composed of veterans, families, and supporters, watched in silence, understanding the depth of the ceremony. In this atmosphere charged with emotion and respect, Tim Chambers stood out not only for his imposing presence, but also for the strength of his silent gesture. He was there once again to ensure that the memory of the fallen remained alive in everyone's hearts. On that sunny Memorial Day, Tim Chambers, despite a recent injury, was determined to pay his annual tribute. With a discreet bandage covering his broken wrist, he positioned himself in the middle of the street, standing firm with his gaze fixed on the horizon. His uniform, full of medals and insignias, shone under the scorching sun, symbolizing years of service and sacrifices. Around him, he had set up an improvised memorial. Military boots, a rifle, a bulletproof vest, and a Kevlar helmet, all carefully arranged at his feet. These items were not just symbols. Each carried the memory of friends and comrades who had fallen in combat. The families of these soldiers over the years had entrusted Tim with these precious objects, and he displayed them with pride as a silent tribute. The heat was intense, and the concrete beneath his feet radiated waves of warmth, but Tim did not falter. His muscles were tense, and sweat dripped down his face, but his hand remained steady in salute. He knew that each passing minute was a testament to his determination and a sign of immense respect. Bikers zigzagged through the street, many of them slowing down as they passed Tim. They waved, some with tears in their eyes, recognizing the depth of the sacrifice he represented. The wheels of their motorcycles kicked up small clouds of dust, which quickly dissipated in the hot air. For Tim, that act of courage was more than just a simple salute. It was a promise to remember and honor those who gave everything. He felt every pain in his body as a reminder of battle wounds, but these discomforts were minor compared to the ultimate sacrifice made by so many. Tim stood there, a solitary but powerful figure in the middle of the street, a bastion of memory and honor in a world that often moves too quickly to remember. He knew that as long as he stood, the stories of his comrades would never be forgotten. As the sun rose higher in the sky, making the heat even more intense, Tim continued his salute. The determination in his gaze showed no signs of weakness. Even as sweat streamed down his face and his body began to feel the effects of prolonged effort, Suddenly, the sound of the biker's engines grew louder, and a group began to slow down and gather around him. The bikers, with their leather jackets adorned with patches and insignias, dismounted from their bikes. Their expressions, initially stern, softened upon seeing Tim's dedication. Without saying a word, they began to form a circle around him, a barrier of respect and solidarity. The leader of the group, a burly man with tattooed arms walked up to Tim with a water bottle in hand. You need a drink, brother. It's too hot out here, he said, opening the bottle and holding it up so Tim could drink without lowering his salute.
Tim nodded in gratitude, allowing himself a long, refreshing sip that revitalized his tired body. Soon, another biker approached, this one with a small pocket fan. Let's cool you down, he said, starting to fan Tim, creating a cool breeze that brought welcome relief. Tim felt the refreshing breeze and murmured a thank you, his gaze still fixed, but now with a hint of gratitude. The third biker, an older man with a gray beard, held a large umbrella. Without a word, he positioned himself behind Tim, holding the umbrella over his head to shield him from the harshest rays of the sun. Tim, moved by the kindness, blinked to hold back tears. These unexpected acts of kindness did not go unnoticed by the watching crowd. Many took photos and filmed the scene, feeling inspired by the solidarity and mutual respect demonstrated. That circle of bikers had transformed Tim's solitary act into a powerful display of unity and empathy. As the hours passed, more bikers joined in, some bringing more water, others simply standing in silence beside Tim in a gesture of support. Each new member of the circle added a layer of meaning to the tribute, showing that while the battle might be individual, memory and respect are collective. The spectators, moved, understood that they were witnessing something extraordinary. It wasn't just a man paying tribute, but an entire community coming together to support and remember. And so, Tim, surrounded by his new allies, felt a renewed inner strength knowing that the sacrifice of the fallen was being truly honored. As Tim stood at attention, surrounded by the bikers who had joined to support him, his mind began to reflect on the values and lessons he had learned during his military career. Each medal on his uniform represented a story, a sacrifice, a comrade who did not return home. These memories were always present, but at that moment, with the sun's heat and the weight of the day, they became even more vivid. He remembered the early days in boot camp, the long marches and cold nights when he and his comrades depended on each other to survive. He recalled his instructor's words, never leave a man behind. These words became a mantra for Tim, something he carried with him on every mission. Tim's military career was marked by moments of camaraderie, but also of loss. He thought of Jack, his best friend and confidant who was killed in an ambush. He remembered Jack's smile, his corny jokes that always lifted the team's spirits. Losing Jack was a hard blow, but also a lesson about the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. As the sun's heat continued to beat down, Tim thought of Maria, a young soldier in his unit who always faced every challenge with a smile. She had an indomitable spirit and a courage that inspired everyone around her. Maria was severely injured in a mission, and though she survived, she was left with scars that would never fade. Tim always admired her resilience and how she turned her pain into strength, dedicating herself to helping other veterans. These memories were not just painful recollections, they were sources of motivation. Tim knew his salute was not just for those he had lost, but for all those who, like Maria, continued to fight in different ways. He promised himself he would never forget the sacrifices made by his comrades and would always honor their memories. Reflecting on his own journey also brought to light the importance of the values he carried. Loyalty, courage, and an unwavering commitment to serve. These values were not just words for Tim, they were principles that guided his every action. He knew that by maintaining his salute, he was reaffirming these values, showing the world that the spirit of military camaraderie and sacrifice was still alive. The bikers around him, sensing the intensity of Tim's tribute, remained silent, respecting the space and moment of reflection. They understood that for Tim, this act of courage and memory was a way to keep the flame of those who had passed away alive. As time passed, Tim felt his strength renewed by the memories of friends and the lessons learned. He was there not just as an individual, but as part of a long line of soldiers who had given everything for the country. And as the salute continued, 
the promise to never forget the fallen comrades grew stronger with each passing minute. Tim knew that as long as he stood with his hand raised in salute, he was fulfilling his mission of keeping the memory of those who gave their lives alive. And so, despite the heat and the pain, he continued, firm and resolute, knowing that his gesture, no matter how simple, carried profound significance. As the sun began to set, painting the sky with shades of orange and gold, Tim felt the exhaustion weighing on his arms and legs. However, the determination in his heart remained firm. He knew the moment to lower the salute was approaching, but he wanted to ensure that every counted second was a well-deserved tribute to his fallen comrades. The bikers around him also felt the intensity of the moment. The silence was deep, occasionally broken by the distant sound of engines or the emotional sighs of spectators. When the moment finally came, Tim lowered his arm with military precision, ending his long and painful salute. A wave of applause and respectful nods swept through the crowd. Several veterans approached, many with tears in their eyes, to shake Tim's hand and thank him for his tribute. Among them, an older veteran placed a hand on Tim's shoulder and said in a choked voice, Thank you for remembering for all of us. Tim moved, nodded, and replied, It's the least I can do for those who gave everything. The bikers who had protected Tim all that time also lowered their arms, some still holding umbrellas and fans. The group leader, the burly man who had offered Tim water, stepped forward and spoke loudly to the crowd. Today, we showed the world that camaraderie and respect have no boundaries. Thank you, Sergeant Chambers, for reminding us of what is truly important. The speeches of thanks continued, each word filled with gratitude and respect. The people in the crowd, touched by the act of courage and the unity demonstrated, felt inspired to reflect on the true meaning of Memorial Day. It was a day to remember, yes, but also to renew the promise of never forgetting. Tim looked at the faces around him, many of them strangers, but all united by a common sense of honor and respect. He felt a wave of gratitude for those who had joined him, turning his solitary act into a powerful demonstration of solidarity. As the motorcycle engines began to roar again, Tim knew it was time to leave. He shook hands with each biker, thanking each one for their support. You made this day unforgettable he said, his voice firm but full of emotion. As the bikers mounted their bikes and began to move away, Tim lingered a moment longer, watching them disappear over the horizon. He felt a deep sense of accomplishment and peace. He had fulfilled his mission of honoring his comrades, and he had done so surrounded by a community that understood the importance of the act. Tim turned and began to walk home, his heart full of gratitude and his spirit renewed. He knew the memory of his comrades was safe, held not just in his own mind, but also in the hearts of all who had witnessed that day. And so, with one last look at the place where it all happened, he left, carrying with him the certainty that the sacrifice of the fallen would never be forgotten. That Memorial Day was etched into the memory of all who were present. It was a powerful reminder that even in the simplest actions, like a prolonged salute, resides the true essence of respect and honor. Tim Chambers, with his courage and determination, not only honored the dead, but also inspired the living to continue remembering and respecting the legacy of those who gave their lives for the country.